With so much conflicting information around the Galaxy S10, today I'm going to be telling you what we know so far and the most likely and credible leaks. Also, please don't forget to hit subscribe, followed by the bell to stay up to date with the latest news and info. To start with, it might not even be called the S10. The CEO DJ Co suggested they may not be continuing with the S numbering system. It is thought that it may be called the Galaxy X instead. There's going to be three models released and new information from CMIT suggests we could see a budget option with a 5.8 inch display and a single rear camera, a standard 5.8 inch version with a dual camera system and a flagship plus model with a 6.44 inch display and a triple camera setup. It's also reported that the rear cameras are going to be a horizontal layout to make space for a 4000 milliamp hour battery and there should also be 5G versions available. In terms of display, we've had a couple of reliable sources stating that it will be the Infinity O design, which instead of a notch is simply a camera cutout inside the display. While some people don't want this, I do think it's the right move. If we take a look at this tweet demonstrating the advantages, you can see in a movie it's in a pretty irrelevant part of the screen, and when gaming your thumb will cover it up, and compared to a standard notch you do retain a lot more of the display. Because of this design though, the device will lose its 3D face scan. The S10 is rumoured to exceed 600 pixels per inch, which is an improvement on the S9's 570, and powering this device we expect the Snapdragon 855 or 8150 for the US market, and the Exynos 9820 for international. We've had a leaked Antutu score for the new 855, which shows the 7 nanometer system on chip performs better than the Kirin 980, but just a little behind Apple's A12. The leak also claims that the CPU cluster is a one plus three plus four with a single gold plus core running at the highest frequency. There's nothing to verify these scores though, so they may not be true, but Qualcomm is expected to unveil the 855 in December. And of course, manufacturers will tweak to their needs, so more information to come on this. The rest of the world will of course get the Exynos 9820 system on chip, and Samsung did confirm production of a 7 nanometer chipset, but the 9820 is actually on an 8 nanometer process, it still delivers great performance in comparison to its predecessor though. The 9820 is confirmed to be a 2 plus 2 plus 4 cluster using two high performance cores instead of the previous 4 plus 4. It will contain an MPU chip for AI functions, bringing 7 times the performance but no actual values have been given. For the GPU it's going with the Mali G76 that will apparently deliver 40% improved performance and 35% improved efficiency. The modem is capable of 2 gigabit per second download and 316 megabits per second upload. It's capable of 8K encoding and decoding but I wouldn't expect to see 8K video recording in the S10 but all in all a great chipset. There's going to be enhanced security with an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor inside the display, so this will sort of make up for the lack of 3D facial recognition. It's going to come with the new Samsung One UI based on Android 9 Pie, and it's likely to come with a dedicated Bixby button. Samsung are working on a new and improved Bixby, and they've also opened it up for third-party development, so it will be interesting to see if this works. And there have been no leaks on memory, but we'd expect something like 6, 8, 10 gigs of RAM variants and still no mention of a headphone jack but Samsung haven't let their users down so far so hopefully it will remain. In terms of pricing, the entry level model is rumoured to be between $650 and $750 and of course expect the higher models to be more expensive. The S9 released with a price of $720 and the S9 Plus was $840 so I'd expect the prices to be around the same if not a little bit higher. In terms of launching, it's expected they'll launch at MCW 2019 in Barcelona so more on that when it comes. But with the latest leaks, we now have a much better idea of what to expect from the new Galaxy. But as always, I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Are these what you were expecting and what do you think of the camera cutout inside the display? But thanks for watching the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.